Good afternoon, after hours, we are on YELP, and after hours, we're going to take a look and see what it does. We also have Twitter over here for the first quarterly report. That's going to be reporting momentarily. So basically, we're going to be looking at what these things will do or they won't do. Okay? And um, so let me pull it back up. This is a one-minute chart that I'm going to see if we can get on Twitter right now. You know, okay, we're looking for a headline uh, reaction. I have a minute chart right here and we just kind of popped up a little bit on the Twitter deal and we definitely we have Yelp right over here at 7680 and they're going to be coming out so we're waiting for the headline event and so far it seems to be fairly calm out here as it is here we go I'm getting some action on this Twitter and what I'm seeing right here is I've got a chart, a one minute. I'm going to bring it over here, and it's shooting straight up and down, 69, 69. All right, so it's $69, and it's climbing. I do not have a headline report on Twitter. Excuse me, Twitter, I do not have a report. Other than we are breaking up toward the $70 area, and not only that, on the one-minute chart, it's kind of locked up, so bear with me other than it froze up. Here we go right now. This is what happened to Twitter for all you Twitter lovers out there in Twitter land. This is what you got. You got a big movement, and we're at $63 at the current level. Here we are live. We got a 62.63. We had a parachute trade. Somebody just, what'd they do? Jumped out of that Manhattan building and hopefully they had an umbrella so they didn't hit the bottom too hard. But nonetheless, here, I'm going to tell you 62.8. It's coming there now, 63.8. All right, so this is a three minute after hours chart. First time that Twitter has reported. But it's very important for people to understand one thing, is that the high was at 72. I'm going to go through the earnings report as soon as I find the key data, and 62 is the low end. There's a 72 to 62. All right, hold on. That's great. Rebs on Twitter were 243 million versus the 218 million that capital IQ consensus has had. So I can't say that the revenues were all that bad. I can say right here and now that this thing is tanking. And yes, we did buy the put options. Unfortunately, we did. And we're going to enjoy it very much as it continues to tank as it should. One of the things for you Twitter lovers, you Twitter lovers, listen to the re earnings report. Here we go in the after hours trade with this Yelp, or uh, Twitter. Yelp is the other one over there. So we finally found a bottom. We can't find anything bad about the revs. 